coding trial class. After a few minutes, my coding class teacher will call me and I should meet our art form. Uh, after uh, this coaching, uh, I will uh, look this good or bad for me. Then only I will join to this. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, my name is Muhammad Mazin TV. You can tell loudly, okay? You can tell loudly. So, are you studying which grade? Uh, I study okay. grade 3rd. Are you able to hear me properly now? Yes. 3rd standard? Yes. Okay. Okay, fine. So, let's look at the trial class. What we will be to, uh, doing today is, we will be creating an app, okay? okay. You know what an app is? Applications, you know? No, I don't know okay. applications. Do you have headphones? Yes. Okay, do you have headphones? That will be better because the sound is not clear no? Okay. So if you have headphones, please use No. I can't increase it. Yeah, that's okay. You can hear me or you can't hear me now? Yeah, I can hear me. Sometimes it's not clear. Sometimes it's not clear. Okay, just ask me when it's not clear, okay? Oh. Okay. So we will be creating an app. Okay, that app, what it should do is, when you click a button, the color of my mobile screen will change. Okay, this is the simple app that... Yanda Yiche Yana. So, moment, there are four steps to create any app, okay? How many steps? Uh, nine. There are... Force. So I will tell you what are the steps. Okay, look, see, open chat. Click on open chat below. Click on open chat. Open chat. Oh, yes, I click on open chat. Okay, you clicked on open chat? Yes, I click. So I'm using the steps one by one. Okay. Speak loudly. Step 1. Define a purpose what the app should do. Okay. So, our step number 1 is to define the purpose of the app. Okay. Now, how will you define the purpose? Purpose means what that app should do. You know YouTube? Yes, I know YouTube. Okay. What do we use YouTube for? For seeing some videos and some yeah. Okay, so we use YouTube for uploading the videos and seeing the videos which are uploaded by others. Yes, okay, yes. then we use the music app sometimes to listen to songs. Okay, okay. then we have apps to, uh, there are different apps for different purposes for transactions, doing some transactions like transferring money. Okay, okay. so there are different apps for different things. Yes. Okay. Every app has some or the other purpose. Oh. Okay, so what is the purpose of the app that we are going to create today? Um, Can you tell what is the purpose? Yes, what the app should do. What the app should do, okay? Yes. Yeah, what the app should do. Hello? I can't hear. Hello. I can't hear. The purpose of our app is to change the screen color. Yes. Screen color. Okay. Yeah. So now what is our step number two? I'm sending you to step number two. Read it loudly. Okay. No. Design, uh, design the app. Step number two, design the app. We select the design co components we want in our app. Okay. So what we are going to do in step number two is we are going to design, design our the app. Design means how that 
to yeah how that app look okay okay now read the step number 3 Uh, step number three: Code the app. Use required code blocks. Okay. In step number three, we are going to do the coding. Okay, using the required code blocks. Fine. Yes. Yeah. Now in step number four, so read the step number four. Run the app. Run the app and check if it works. So in the step number four, we are going to check if our app is working correctly or not. Okay. 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 Let's start with creation of the app. Okay, we we'll share my screen with you. Are you on full screen right now? What I can? Are you on full screen right now? Full screen. No. The full screen. Below there is a full screen option. You need to click on that full screen. I below I, I have clicked. Okay, you are you able to see my screen? Yes, I can see. There is a full screen like this. Yeah, in your screen there is full screen below. Okay. Where can I full screen? Share screen is. There is only share screen. It will be full screen plus share screen. Can you see that full screen? Yeah. Yes, I can see. I can see. Yeah. In your screen below the. What? I can I can't hear. Gosh, I lost time. And we will drag the button and move it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Understood what I did? I clicked on the button, dragged and dropped it. Then on the right hand side there is ID. So what is the ID of the button? ID button. I can't. Button one. Radio button. Radio button. I think. Yeah. Um. Uh, radio button. No, 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 no. See, there is this properties of it. Yes, I get. Below there is ID. Yes. it means the name of this button okay? okay the name of this button is button 1 yeah and this is text okay we will change the button to me me okay okay yeah so now we are done with the design okay we have done with the design now let's go to the code so i click on the code Okay, this is code. Okay. Code. There is two things over here. Toolbox. And, yeah. So there is a toolbox and there is a workspace. Yes. So workspace is where we write the code. Ah, uh, we will write okay. the old code now, in uh, workspace. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we are going to use the JavaScript language. Okay, for writing the code. So there are two ways in which you can write the code. one is the block method of writing and other is the text method of writing so we are going to use the block method of writing the code okay so these are in toolbox below can you see these are all the blocks yes i can see yeah these are all the blocks so we will use them okay so now let's do the coding part again i will click on this on event drag it and drop it away clear Yes. Then I will select the set property, drag it and drop it away. Okay. Okay. So these are the two things right now I'm using. Okay. Now I will click on events, select button one away. Click on the set property, select screen one over okay. here. Screen one with background color, and I will select green, which is my favorite color. Okay. Okay, Mama, do you understood what we have to select? Yes. Okay, fine. So now this is the step number three that is for the app which is completed. Okay. So now we will check if our app is working or not. Okay. So I will click on Run and then I will click on Click. Click me. Yeah. 
so these are the things okay uh, the color of my background has changed screen color has yes, changed i can see yeah okay so i click on reset now okay now i will show you how to do the text method of coding okay so i will just drag it and drop it back here you can see show text yes i can see i'll click on show text and i will type in okay input in the text method you have to type everything but we are not going to use the text method right now oh. we just be using the block method because that is a simple way of writing the code okay see in the text method now it is giving me a warning sign yellow color triangle yes you see? i can see that yeah it's saying missing semicolon okay so that is because it needs the semicolon over here so why do we put a semicolon it's because it's the end of the sentence we have to tell the computer that it is the end of the sentence like in english we put a full stop no after every sentence yes so like after every sentence here we put a semicolon okay so once you put semicolon the warning message has disappeared okay so now what i will do i will run and check if it is working yes it is working okay so mohammad you have to do the same activity on your end but you don't have to do the text method of coding you are going to do using the block method okay okay yeah so i will stop sharing my screen now and you have to click on the share screen below okay so just click on the share screen i had share click the share then there is a pop up screen coming yes entire screen double click on that entire screen entire it's uh, about yeah See. yeah double click on the screen which is there yes i double did you double click yes uh so what is the message that you're getting i don't get any messages no you have to double click on the entire screen coming no there is a small no. screen which is coming you have to double click on that i have click uh, double click on that but i i didn't get any messages okay but i can't see your uh, screen because once you double click it it should share your screen with me can you see that share button below share and cancel yes share and cancel so that share is in blue color yes no 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 okay so you have to click on that screen which is coming okay okay click click on that screen once then share will be enabled then you click on the share screen down down look at over here share screen yes then there is a pop up screen you click on that pop up screen and then you click on share what i can't get anything you can't get anything no. okay uh, i will just show it on your my screen see how it is see i will get a message like this when i share the screen so what i have to do here there is a share option now i click on that share option then there will be a screen i will have to click on that screen and then again click on the share button got it yes i understand now Yeah. Now do it on your end. Click on the share screen. Yes, I got it. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Now it will. So now you click on the close this message. To her. Close this message. Yes, I have clicked. Okay. So now what you have to do? Click on open chat now. Click the open chat. See. See below there is open chat. Yes. Down. Down. Look at over here. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I am sending you the email ID with which you have to log in. Okay. So just copy that e email ID. Yeah. I I should copy to you. 
no 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 just select that email id right click and copy it first select it with select. your mouse you know how to select yes yeah select yeah. the yeah. whole yeah. email id okay from w till m Yes, I yes, I have selected. Now right click, right click on that. Right click. Copy. Click on copy when you right click. Okay. Yes, I copy. Now in the activities, can you see the student activity? What? Right hand. Right hand. I didn't understand. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah hello. Uh, I. I yeah. Really on the right hand side, can you see? Right hand. Right hand. Right hand side. Activities. Ah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Click Design on the student thing. activity one. Yeah. Click on that. Click it. Yes. Okay. Very good. So now it will ask for the email ID. Hmm? So we will paste that email ID which we have copied right now. No? Yes, I have copied. Yes, email ID here. Okay. So in this email or username field, right click, click on that. Yeah. Right click now. Paste. I have pasted the. Paste. Yeah. Okay. In the password field. Click on the password field. Yes, I have yeah. clicked. Over here, you have to type. Yeah, you have to type D E M O demo one two three four five. Demo D E M O in small letters. One, one, okay, two, in one. small everything in small letters. Okay. One two four. Without any spaces. Yes, I have. I have typed. Now click on sign in. Sign in. Yes. I clicked on sign in. Yeah, just wait now. Okay, that page is loading. Okay, click on create. Click on never over here. Never in the password. Never. No, never. Never. What it is? Ah, oh, okay. Never. Now click on create. Create, create. Over there. Look over there. See there is. Click on create, create. Yeah, I create. Click over there, yeah. Yes, I clicked on the. Okay, select app lab. Lab. Uh, select app lab. Yes, I A -P -P -L -A -B. select. L A B. Yes, click on that. Yes, I clicked. Yes. Okay. Okay, now Mama, what we have to do is we have to click on design now. Okay, so top left hand side, top left hand side, can you see design? Yes, yeah. I can see. Click on design. Yes, I clicked it. Yes. Now, what if, yeah, so there is a mobile simulator and the design toolbox. Okay, yes. Now, click on the button in the toolbox from the what? first one. First one, first one. Yes. yes. Down. Click and drag and drop it on the screen. Yeah, very good. Put it in the center, okay? Put it in center, the center, center of the screen. Center, center. Yeah, click on the button and drag it. Yes. Put it on the center. Is this looking good? No, no, you don't increase the size of the button. Just drag it and drop it in the center. Now it's right. Okay, fine. No problem. Let it be. Yeah. Okay. So now what we are going to do? We are going to change the text. Okay. Okay. Click on the text. Uh, text, uh, text, text. Text means the right hand side is ID, you know? Yes. Because the ID there is yeah, button. Yeah. So... Remove the button and right there, click me. Click me. Yeah. Remove it first. Uh, 
click me hmm. yes i clicked i typed the okay now yeah yes very good now what you do click on code okay on code. the left hand side top left hand side code click on code yeah. yes i click Oh, so now in the workspace you have to drag and drop the code blocks. Code blocks. So click on the on even code block first. Uh, I clicked it. Drag it and drop it in the workspace. Yes, very good. Okay. Now scroll down, scroll down a little bit. Scroll in the toolbox, go to the bottom of the toolbox. Okay, not here. In the toolbox. Toolbox. Scroll down the toolbox. You have a scroll, no? Scroll there. Go to the bottom of the toolbox. Yes, I got. Yeah, go uh, scroll down more. Yeah. Can you see set property? Set, yes, I can see. Yeah, just drag that set property and drop it in the brackets. Yes, very good. Okay. So now what you're going to do is we are going to change the values inside this. Yeah, Mohammed? So on event, we are going to select the button one in the ID field. Okay, click on ID field. ID folder. On the workspace, on event, ID is there, no? Workspace, on event, the code that we have dragged, no, now? Uh, yes, yes. In that, there is bracket, in the bracket, there is ID, right? Yes. For the on event, not the set property, on event. The first one, first one, first line. Line number one, on event. On event. I should type there in on event. No, you're on line number two, right? Yes. Go to line number one. Number one. Line number one, oh, there is yeah. ID. ID is there, yeah. So in that small triangle, you don't type anything, okay? Click okay. on that small triangle. Click on that small triangle, you yes, can see. Yes, I clicked it, I clicked it. No, no, click on the triangle, not the ID. Right. You have to click on that small triangle. Yes, uh, I clicked it. You have to click on the, uh, yeah, click there, yes, click there, yes. Select button one. Button one, okay, I selected. Okay, then in the set property below, second line, line number two, click on that small triangle, first small triangle. Yes, I clicked. Yeah, select screen one. Yes, I selected screen one. Then in the next field, width is there, no? Width triangle is there, small. Yes. Click on that. Select background color. Yes, I selected. The red angle. Yes. Select the color that you like. Which color you like? Yellow. Okay, you like yellow color? Okay, yes. fine. But yellow, okay, fine, no problem. This yellow is different. Now, what we can do is run the app, okay? Click on run. Yes, I uh, clicked it on. And click on reset. Uh, click now. Click me. Click. click. Yes, I clicked. So, congratulations. You created your first app today, okay? Thank you. Mohammed, it was difficult? No, it was easy. No. Easy, no? Okay. Uh, I will explain you what this code also means later on. Now, first you need to save this, okay? Yes. So, uh, click on rename now. What? Rename, which is on the top of the screen. See, there is rename. Yes, yeah. uh, I saw, I saw. Click on that. I clicked. Remove the untitled project and write your name. Okay. Yeah. You can write um yeah your name. 
one first app you can see okay fine no problem yeah now click on save yes i see then click on share Okay, now there is a link given. See, there is a link HTTPS Studio. Click on that link. Right click. Right click. Yes. And copy. copy. Okay, now click on the cross for that message. There is a cross. No? Close that message. Yeah. Okay. And now you have to go back to the white hat junior tab. There is a red color circle tab. No? Click on that on the top. On the top you can you will find a red color circle. See? No, 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 no. Don't close that. No, no. There is a red color circle. See, circle is there. Can you see circle? No, I can't. Go to the first. Uh, yeah, see up there. Up there, there is a red color circle. Top of the page. Top of the page. Go top. No, 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 no. Go to the top. There is a small red color circle you can see. Yes. Click on that now. Click on that. Yes, I click yeah. it. So this is the white hat junior tab. Okay, Mohammed. So every time we have to come to this tab and go back to the other activity. Okay? okay. So you remember this red color circle. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now what we do? At the bottom of the page, right hand side, can you see activities? Ah, I can see. About the activities, there is enter your project URL. URL. Yeah, click on that. Right click. And click on paste. Okay, now click on submit. I submit. Okay. So what we did, Muhammad, just now, we have sent the link of the project to your parents' registered mobile ID. Okay? So your mom and dad will also be able to see the project that you have done today. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now click on the student activity two. Student activity two. Yes, I see. Yes. Big one. <clears throat> okay. So now this is the explanation of the code that we have used. Okay? So what code we have used? We have used two code blocks. So one is the on event and, and the other is the property. set property. Okay. So what does on event mean? On event means when button is clicked. Okay. okay. In English language. And set property means change green oh, color to green. Okay. So like this we are telling the computer. Okay. Computer understands only this computer language. No. Okay. Yeah. So we are telling the computer the color of the screen when I click this button. Clear? Yes. Uh, you have any doubts over here? No, 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 no. Okay, you understood what we did just now? Yes. Hello? Hello. Yeah, you understood what we did just now? Yes. Okay, uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime, okay? Okay. Yeah. So now let's go back to the red color circle tab. Yes. Click on that, yes. Okay. Now we will go to the student activity. Uh, student activity 3. Yes. Okay. So now, Mohammed, you know, these are all the apps. Okay. So these are basically the apps that have been created by the White Hat Junior students. Okay. Uh, they had enrolled for the course and they created these apps and they have been published on the Google Play Store. Okay. So basically, a lot of people are using these apps right now. So in your course, you will be creating such kind of apps. Okay, so let's see some more such apps. Okay, now we go back to that red color circle tab. Click on the red color circle tab. Normal, have you clicked on the red color circle tab? Yeah. Yes. 
your own chat window, right? Okay, your chat is open on Luna and sending to the link of the app, okay? Okay. <coughs> okay, so what you have to do is uh, write blue color link. Blue color link. The one which I have sent just yes. now, no? Blue it's color link. Right? It's a PPS. Correct, correct. Right click on that. Okay. Good. Open link in new tab. I click. Go, yeah. Go to the page which is opening now. Go to the tab which is opening now. Uh, top, top, top. The tab which is opening now, that circle is coming. Yeah, one. click on that. ABP, yeah. Click, click that. Yes. Now click on tab to click. This is a pager app, okay? Yeah. Pager app is similar to WhatsApp app but with some different features, okay? So now there are let's see how this app works, okay? Click on the room link now. Click on the room link. Yes, I see. Below, you see room link? Yeah, click on that. Yeah, here you type study. Yeah. S T U D Y. No, 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 no. There's something else coming. This is uh, this has some difficulty. yeah yeah no problem it comes a little bit slow so type slowly so that you know you'll be understanding what you're typing just type a little bit slowly it will come properly yes okay okay yes yes will come then right not in there that tab coming now the writing pad is all Yeah, type there S T U. Okay, it will come. It will come. Wait. Okay, no problem. Let it be. We'll assume it is study. Okay. Yeah. Now click on the nickname. Actually, it is very slow. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the internet is little bit slow. That's why it is uh, showing like this. Okay, you can type something in Chrome and in the nickname also. It can be anything. Okay, type something. Yeah. Type something in the room name also. Actually, it's not working. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Just okay, type some Nazi. some letter over there in the nickname and in the root name. No, there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then write here. Then Z. Oh, already one. Okay, fine, fine. It's fine, fine, yeah, no problem. Yes, yes, yes. Call the room name and type some name. Uh, okay, fine. Okay. Type anything. Anything. You can write it. Enough. Then write it. Mohammad. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you can type anything, no problem. <laughs> You are scolding that she can see over there. 
yeah i can see you how <laughs> what you're doing <laughs> Okay. Actually, click on the tick mark. <laughs> click on the tick mark now. Tick mark. Enough. Tick mark. Mahazin, enough. Tick mark. You know. Just try it. Okay. Okay. I just want to show you this as an example. Okay. No need to write everything properly. It's okay if you write anything. Yeah. The internet is a little bit slow. No, that's why we are not able to get that faster. Yeah. Now click on the let's chat. No, no. Left click. Left click on the next chart. Yeah. Okay. So, Mama, this is a room created. Okay. And uh, suppose this is a study room created. Yes. So you have invited. You can invite your friends to this room. Okay. Yes. And you can chat with. You can uh, talk to them, and they can also send you messages. Okay, so this is how the pager app works. Okay, now let's close this tab. Just close the app tab. Okay, go to the top. App is there, no? Just close that. Yeah, just close that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now you go back to the red color circle tab. Where is the red color circle? Yes, I have clicked. Okay, click on that. Yes, I clicked. Now I'm sending you another link. I'm sending you another link, okay? You have to open it in the same way. Right click on that blue color link. <coughs> it's a... blue, blue color, which is blue the blue color, color blue link. Color. Yes. yes, right click on that. Yes. Open link in new tab first, yeah. Now go to the tab which is loading. APP tab. Yes. yes. Click okay. on that. Yes. Okay. You know what is this now? This is a game. Okay. You will like to play this game. Click on tap to play. Yeah. So you have played the tic tac toe game. Have you played tic tac toe? No. No. Okay. Cross and zeros game. You put a cross. You put a zero. Okay. You know that game? No, I don't know. Tic tac toe. Okay, game. let's play it now. See, uh, it will show you how to play. Okay, this this kind of game you played? No, I don't play. Okay, fine. Click on the text over there. Click on the text. Text. In the text box below the image. Yes. No. Yeah. Above yeah, the join no, game, no. there is a small text box. No. No, here over there. About the join. Yes. Yeah, click on that. Yes. And write any four-digit number. Eight. Write any four-digit number over there. But any four-digit number, you can write it. Any four? Don't uh, write a uh, text. Write a number, four-digit number. Four-digit number. Yeah, any number you can type. Four, five, six, seven, anything, anything. No, 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 number, number. Yeah, actually, uh, it will. It is working slowly. Uh -huh. Okay, just delete that and put a number over there. I put it the numbers, but it's not working. Okay, now you can just try putting the number. Why it is very slow? Uh, Ma'am, maybe the internet connection is so slow. Yeah. Click yeah. on the tick mark. Click on the tick mark now. Okay. okay. Now click on join game. Join game. Right. Okay. So, Mohammed, you know what you have to do? You have to click on the squares. Okay. There will be a cross and a zero coming. Okay. So, you have to first form three X or three zeros. Okay. 
So start playing the game, okay? Click on any of the square. Any of the square. Um, click it. Slowly, slowly do. Wait, wait, it's slow, no? Wait. It will come, it will yeah. come slowly. Click on, yeah, you have to click it oh, another one. Uh, click on any of the other squares, yeah. Just form three zeros or three cross. Yes, three, yes. Slowly, slowly, slowly do. It's taking a long time, maybe. I think it's really yeah, slow. zero wins. Okay, you saw now how to actually cook your game. You can invite your friend to play this, but right now you're playing it on your own. Okay, yes, woman. I can't understand nothing. Yeah, now look. You do not understand. See, there are two players in this one player will click a cross, and one player will click a zero. Okay, okay. Yeah, so the person who makes a zero or X first, he will win. So now you have made zero or three zeros first, no? Yes. So that's why you win. Okay. Now close this APP tab. So my dear friends, my class is over. It was a one hour free trial classes, and my teacher also signed out. This is uh, entirely different from other classes. This is a free code uh, trade class means making a game or apps. If you are interested to join this class, please go to the Google and register. Uh, their website is White Hat Junior. And if you like my video, please subscribe and click the bell icon. And you should share and comment with the like.